feeding of thieves. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Matthew, in today's Gospel, speaks about the necessity of being watchful, the necessity of developing the talents that we receive while waiting for Lord's return. The parable of the talents, in this parable, is he spell out what this watchfulness means. It consists in carrying out the Lord's instruction to the best of one's God-given ability. But first, once again, let us listen and learn from another life experience. One day in a certain place, a reunion took place of the past student of a famous school run by a religious order. An elderly priest who had come back to be present at the reunion found himself surrounded by a host of former students. Most of them he had not met since they left the school many years previously. But it was obvious from the way that priest was surrounded by his former student that he enjoyed really great respect among them. So he received them with graciousness. Then, without the slightest prompting from him, they began to pour out their own stories. One former student was now an architect who had built not only many public buildings, but also two churches. Wow. Another was the head of a business company who had branches in over a thousand countries, including the country where that priest was coming from. Another was a university professor who had written several learned books. Another was a highly successful farmer, then, wow, one of them was a monsignor in the church. Another was the principal of a very prestigious school. The whole priest listened with pleasure to the impressive litany of successes and achievement of his former student. There did not seem to be a single failure or loser among them. Or if so, there it was there were if there was any such people among the ranks of his past student, it was obvious that they had not shown up at the reunion. So, as they told their stories, one after the others, the whole priest said little, just contenting himself with nodding his head and smiling. When they had finished their story, he complimented them about their each one achievements. Then looking at them with affection, he said, and now please tell me 
what you have made of yourself. Then a long silence follow. What have you made of yourself? A question that was so surprising for all of them. Yes, all of them, they were at that point reluctant to talk about themselves. It seems that all of them were so absorbed in their careers that they had ne neglected their personal life. Their energies were so focused on efficiency and success that they did not have time to grow emotionally with the result that in terms of relationship many of them were very poor. Is it not a danger that we too may face in a society like Hong Kong? People may have done great things in their public lives but fail in their private lives. Most people who are successful in their career left their personal lives a long way behind. Indeed, their successes are often achieved at the expense of their personal life, at the expense of their couple life, at the expense of their family life. Is it not, is it not too often also our case? In today's Gospel, Christ talk about people who were given different talents. He praised the first two because they use well their talents. But he censored the term because he buried his talent in the ground. When Christ talk about talents, we must not think that he means only external talent, like, for example, a musical or footballing talent, though such talent are important, and all credit to those who possess, who develop, and who use them. But at the same time, we have to acknowledge that these days, such talent are outrageously overvalued and over-rewarded. Just think about the salary that they re receive, the well-known sportmen, scandalous. But Christ's parable goes a lot deeper than that. Ultimately, we know that the only things that matters is what we make of ourselves. Please tell me, said the whole priest, what have you made of yourself? Not what have you accomplished in your profession. What have you made of yourself in terms of personal blossoming, in terms of personal blooming? What have you made of yourself in terms of a relationship with family member, in terms of a relationship with others? Once again, we are mistaken if we think that it is only about making something, something of oneself in a materialistic sense. Though this is not completely ruled out. The woman spoken in the first reading that we hear today could hardly 
be described as being either successful or famous. Yet she is old up as a model. Why? Because of the kind of person she is and not because thing she did. She is industrious, caring, wise and virtuous. She possess something much more valuable than wealth or beauty. How about us? She possess a living heart. She has put her talents at the service of her family, of her neighbor. She has put her talent at the service especially of the poor. And for all these reasons, she has the respect of the entire communities. Once again, how about you? How about me? Please, let us not forget that life is God's gift to us. But in return, what we do with our life, what we do with ourselves, is our gift to God. Amen.